Good morning and welcome to this week's update. This update's actually been done relatively soon to when it goes up. This one's it's Sunday today, um, is it 23rd, 22nd? 22nd I think it is today, or maybe it's the 21st. Lost count of the date, does it matter? No. Um, so it's Sunday, this will be going out for you tomorrow, probably morning. And uh, this is my second day off and it's bliss to be back in the shed and yesterday I did I actually recorded quite a lot of yesterday's so I did a, a a little video for you to go out at the end of the week it's nothing spectacular it was just a day in the shed um, so I was just getting everything ready for all the projects coming up this week with me being off uh, so I've got I think I've got three boxes prepared and ready to start. Um, a load of rings, which is quite normal, craft fair um, next Saturday. So I'm trying to get organised for that this week. And also for pens, because those are the two things that the rings and the pens are the things that seem to go the quickest. So I was just uh, out in the shed yesterday, so I filmed it for you. So that will be going out at the end of next week. This week's project video will go out probably Tuesday because um, it's just about ready to to go up now and it's the part two to the jewellery banks that, that happened a few weeks ago and um, showing how they all came out because I didn't degas the resin if you remember rightly because I wanted some fine bubbles and stuff in it and with a lot of people think oh with the Illumilite especially, but I use the amazing casting resin which makes a big difference because it doesn't leave any voids in with the air bubbles, it's just very fine air bubbles. So it looks a little bit snowflakey type of thing, or maybe rainy. So uh, anyway, so that video goes up this week and uh, I hope you enjoy that one. Um, it was good to do the second one and also um, I've added something in that I, I didn't normally do. Uh, to the rings and that came out really well so you'll find out about that um, this week and it's definitely the way forward for, for me with the rings so that's been happening I've been keeping up to date with everybody's videos on um, I, I do try to subscribe to everybody that has a, a channel I do try to keep up it's impossible to keep up because I have I'm subscribed to hundreds of channels so it's often impossible to keep up so every now and again I go back and just do a bit of a catch up and uh, much like yourselves you end up sitting down for or you think oh I sit down for 10 minutes and watch a video two hours later you're still there watching videos because uh, some amazing content on YouTube so that's it for today for today i haven't got an awful lot to tell you other than gold rush has started anybody else watch gold rush <laughs> well that's definitely my guilty pleasure um so i've been watching that because that that started well it started last week but i was just catching up yesterday got a couple of stickers through in the post as well which i was really pleased about if you join me on instagram you've probably seen a picture going up before um this is mike aikinson and that's uh, the wood creation I should put links below to these channels and um, thank you very much Mike came all the way from the US which is just really great and uh, Keith at oh gosh Asgard wood turning thank you very much Keith another brilliant channel um, and well worth watching I should be putting these stickers up today to go with the other ones. I need to sort something out here. This this ain't, ain't no good. I think I'm going to buy a massive whiteboard for here to put these on so that you can see them a little bit better. But that'll be stuff that'll be maybe happening in the new year. So anyway, thank you very much, Keith. And thank you very much, Mike, for your stickers. And uh, video clicked off there maybe it's telling me to shut up talking so anyway yeah so that's that there were, I tried to answer all the questions I think I'm up to date with everybody's questions now it was quite delayed during the week but I, I managed to get around to answering everybody and somebody left me a message this morning and going back to when I did uh, the Melly Burr rings 
this is going back quite a while now um, and I don't know if everybody watched it but anyway I did uh, use Melly Burr cast it with resin and made rings and pendants and somebody was watching that video this morning and they said to me how do I get the uneven surface on the top so when I this is a, a Melly Burr here this is not this is not a Melly Burr actually this is either an oak or an elm burr that I've got sitting here in the shed and um, when the bark obviously comes off it and um, this one peels off quite nicely it just breaks away um, it leaves the uneven surface I did try and explain it but I just wanted to show it just in case you didn't get it and all I do is slice these into half an inch um, slices and then they're turned on the side obviously and the resins cast into the knobbly bits and that gives the uneven look um, just somebody was asking about that this morning so I thought well I've got a burr here I'll uh, do that so that's how it turns out and then it's sliced this is not the best looking bit but when it's sliced it gives that uneven effect there that was just answering somebody's question just uh, to try and get the information out there so that people start making them I've got a couple of bits that's actually happening in the background to snail um, and I'm hoping to really get a little bit of a, a discount from resin for you um, it might just be a one-off but um, I'm attempting to get that so um, keep an eye out for that. I'm hoping that I'll hear a little bit more this week um, about that. It's um, Anyway, I won't go into any more information on that until it's all confirmed what's happening. So, yeah, in the background, I, I'm, I'm trying to engage with some companies to, to help out with products because it's quite difficult to get some of the stuff that I use. So, uh, so yeah, that's it there. And also... What else was I going to tell you? God, what was it? It was in my head two seconds ago, now it's gone. Christ, what was it? Don't know, it is completely gone. Whatever I was thinking of. Might come back in a second. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Crikey, that took a while to remember. I, um I don't know if I've said to you before about the the inner cores for rings. I've been asked a couple of times for um, like metal inside the rings. Um, in fact, I was I was asked twice this year to make rings, but I couldn't get. They're called um, metal uh, metal cores, ring cores they're called and it's just metal on the top and then you actually I'd probably do it on the on the lathe you actually insert it into some wood and shape it and then finish it with CA and they come out absolutely stunning some of these rings really beautiful and I see them all the time and for the life of me I have really struggled to get the inner cores I can get them in America but I can't get them here and it's quite frustrating because I don't want to make these things if they're going to end up costing too much for people to buy it. That's totally, it's not worth doing. So I actually turned down both of those jobs purely because I said to them, you can buy them. You can buy the ring cheaper than I can get the inlay and make them for. And I'm not, I'm not into robbing people. So, um, so I advised them to go to other places that they'd found. But anyway, I have managed to... It's, they're coming in from America, um, from Craft Supplies. I have ordered some of their cores in anyway, and they're quite a reasonable price. It costs me a fortune to ship it over here. But saying that, I just ordered a bulk of them in the hope that I'll use them. Just as a, It was a bit of a chance buy, really, that they'll turn out OK. So... Um, so they'll definitely be coming up and I'm going to do a project on those as soon as I get them. I think it'll probably take a few weeks to get here. But as soon as those come, I'll be making some of those into rings as well. Um, and it would give me something for men. 
because most of my rings are for women. The skateboard ones would be okay for men, but they're not hardy enough for men. So, um, and it was actually men's wedding rings that that I was asked to make. So, uh, so yeah, they're they're definitely going to be coming up, and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to be stabilising some wood beforehand in readiness for them coming through so that I can get some made don't know how they'll come out and I'll probably do a couple of testers before I actually do a video on it so that I can find out where I was going wrong or not going wrong or how well it does or or stuff like that but uh, yeah that would definitely be coming up so I'm really looking forward to doing them um because if they turn out right these rings turn out beautiful so uh I will um I'll give you more information about when I get those through and I'll do a little bit of a review of them. And if anybody else knows where I can get ring cores from, especially in the UK, um, please will you pop it in below because uh, I would really like to be getting them from the UK if I could just because of the custom charges and things. And so anyway, so that was me rattled on a little bit more about that. It took me half an hour to remember it right enough, but, uh, <laughs> but that's it. So today that's all I've got to tell you really a full day in the workshop today really hope you enjoy this week's project video and um, a little extra one coming up at the weekend I've got a lot of um, decorating that I need to start doing this week because the, the, the room is actually just about clear for me to be able to get in now so um, I'm going to start decorating that room inside so you, you might find that maybe next week's update will be from in the house um, instead of out here uh, just in preparation for changing things because the update will be done as a rule in the house probably unless I've got stuff to show you in the shed here and this might end up going into the house all the stickers because um, when I start doing maybe some live um, updates at the beginning of the year it will be behind me on that um, for casting and stuff like that and it will be a lot cleaner for the stickers and that in there so it that may well be moving so stuff will be happening in there but anyway i've spoke long enough way too long um so have a great week all stay safe uh just enjoy yourself in your shed and uh i'll see you again next week thanks very much for watching